Travel to Greece with us plus first night in Athens. She apparently gets free visits to the lounge after you. My, my bestie. Come here, come. Luxury hour as we drank and ate while waiting to board. Here's to Greece! Yes. Flying Egypt Air with the two all layover in Cairo. Hair in a bonnet ready to nap. Psych, this gal needs to do her readings. Here's my airplane food hack. Cut your bread and place it under the tin lid to warm. While you place the butter either under the tray or on top of it to melt. Boom, no more cold bread and hard butter. You're welcome. Egypt Air has the best juice. Gotta get Juhani's guava juice. <laughs> we asked for a whole carton of guava juice and Egypt hair pulled through. A short layover in Egypt and we are headed to Athens. But why did they give us stew on the flight? Our bus driver took my luggage okay. and I took the keys to the coach. This bus, I take this okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I got the keys. Him, my ride to K23. Welcome to Lydia's bus. The best joke of the trip along with my catchphrase, yo wad, yo wad. It smells funky. <laughs> Hello, Athens. The Panathenaic Stadium. Once settled, we grabbed dinner and pistachio gelato, which I had never had before. Excited for the rest of our trip. Let's go to ancient Corinth, the art center of ancient Greece, and where St. Paul visited. The Temple of Apollo As someone who grew up on Percy Jackson and was a Greek mythoholic, I was beyond myself. <laughs> My little art historian heart was so overjoyed. Corinth was beautiful and smelled incredible from the flowering trees. Catch me picking Greek flowers from each location to dry in my notebook. Beautiful like you. Spring meant that the flowers were in bloom. I've never seen poppies before, so it was a treat. The Bema of St. Paul where he was tried. I consider him my patron saint, as he is very outspoken and a man of the law, kind of like me. Corinth was significant not just for its art but because it connected the Aegean Sea and the Ionian. The ancient site wasn't very big. It took our group an hour to visit all the sites.
Mostly the Temple of Apollo really stood out. monsters known for its rough waters, legendary tales like the Odyssey, and its astonishing color. That concludes Corinth. You were precious to me. Now let's go to Athens. Greece trip day three, ancient Agora and Acropolis, Athens. The ancient Agora was beautiful especially the Temple of Hephaestus, which is still in good shape. Seeing the ancient columns up close was a treat. The Greek myths that litter the ceiling were exciting to identify. Athens, we're at the Temple of Hephaestus. I saw a turtle. It is beautiful. Look at this turtle. Oh, the Acropolis. The National Library with the Goddess Athena and the God Apollo. At the foot of the Acropolis about to make our way up, it was a hike to reach the top. The Acropolis Amphitheater, or Odeon of Heroes Atticus, was grand. Till this day they use the space to host concerts and shows. Leg day in full effect. my idea, The Parthenon, a temple to honor Athena, the patron goddess of Athens. The city was named after her after she gifted them with the olive tree. The famed olive tree that Athena gifted the Athenians, Percy Jackson prepped me well for this day. In Athens, where Athena and Poseidon duked it out, has prepared me well. There's the Parthenon, and then the Maidens of the Balcony, where one of the statues in the British Museum is right over there. How dog. Ended the tour with lunch, a gyro sandwich. Before prepping for the cruise to the Greek island of Patmos, 